guys how's it going this is tim shaves and today is going to be another shave interesting shave uh shave that i've been very excited for because i'm going to be testing out a new uh piece of hardware uh you probably catch up in the title but i uh, hope you guys are having a good day and some great shaves in the winter season it's been getting a bit a little bit more chilly every day and the skin is drying out a bit so uh, you guys might be having uh, some trouble, skin issues here and there, but hopefully all these good skin food shave soaps and splashes will uh, help ease some of that dryness and um, yeah, help prevent it. Anyways, I'm um, also going to be using a new software today from a um, one of my favorite brands. This is Sterling's Lemon Lavender Mint. Um, as it states there, it has three essential oils of lemon, lavender, and peppermint. And it looks like this, a little bit yellowish hue there. I scooped some out. And the scent off the tub, it's got a like an earthy lavender scent to it. The, I, I've mentioned it in the mail call. Uh, there's a note that I'm not digging from this tub. I don't know, but Maybe the lemon and the lavender kind of clashes against each other. I don't, there's a note that comes off as earthy to me. Maybe slightly animalic for some reason. But once I lather it up, it actually uh, brightens up. So I get a little bit more of the lemon and peppermint, which I enjoy more than the earthiness. So just a... Interesting thing, thing to note, got it lathered up in my Captain's Choice Bowl, quite a watery, uh, wet looking lather here with my Christmas themed brush, Umo uh, hook, badger knot. And off the tub here, yeah, I get a little bit more of the lemon and peppermint and the, the earthiness and the lavender kind of rounds out. So this is definitely one of those that uh, smells better when lathered and opens up with those other uh, brighter scents which i dig all right looking a bit wetter than why what i usually prefer but i think it'll work well all right i got um the cube 2.0 pre-shave on um, i am on a one day of growth i shaved yesterday using my supply razor and it shaved pretty close so uh, my skin might be a little more tender than the usual two-day growth. I'll have to take it a bit easy today. All right, well, I got the brush lathered up. Let's uh, get on face lathering. Here we go. Add some more water to the skin. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, nice bit of cooling from the peppermint. I don't think there's menthol in this soap, if I recall, but uh, yeah, there is no menthol, but there is peppermint essential oil, which helps with the cooling, which aids with the cooling, but a bit more of a thinner lather today. I'm going to be working it in a bit. Very soft badger nut. I'm enjoying this. I get a little bit too dense for my liking, but <clears throat> still enjoyable. Mm. As I work in the leather, you can see the volume increasing every time. I think we can use some more water, so 
and add a bit more here. Paint that on. So let's leave it there. Nice and hydrated leather, not bad. And it's sterling soap, so I know I'm gonna get good slickness out of it. Um, I got it nice and hydrated, a little bit, um, maybe a bit thinner than the usual, but it will work fine. Got plenty of leather, at least for a couple more passes. Should be good to go. All right, as for the Razor and blade today, going to be going with a new hardware, as I said before. This is carved, but as you can see by the blade gap, this is the G plate. So, excited to try this one out. This one has the highest blade gap and blade exposure out of all the plates. Um, I think one below this is the open comb F plate, but in terms of solid bars, this is the highest one goes from A to G, and this is at the top. So, excited to try this one out. Um, I didn't like the open comb D plate, so <laughs> it kind of it's kind of ironic to go to the G plate, um, but who knows, let's, <laughs> let's try it out. I might be, might have just dig myself a hole by buying this plate, but whatever. Here we go, first pass through with the grain. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I forgot to mention the blade. This is Gillette Nasset blade on its second use, one of my favorite blades. Let me, <laughs> let me wait to comment. I just finish the first pass. All right, nice and wood looking leather. Mm, a little blemish here. Felt that a bit. I think with the added Blade gap and exposure, definitely, oh yeah, I think it cut down there. That's okay though. And this is just one day of growth, so don't I don't have a lot to work with, but yeah, see a little bleeding down there. Other than that, that was a very smooth shave. Smooth first pass. Good slickness with sterling. Do enjoy it. Alright. That's a pretty efficient first pass, I would say. Let's continue on. I'm gonna do a two pass and a cleanup today. I have to go against the grain because that's how I really test out the razor. So, and there's a fair bit of cooling in the soap. I'd say a bit less than a regular sterling menthol soap, but it's up there. Definitely a cool, uh, pleasant cooling sensation.
maybe a bit more than Parasa Green, but um, it's very nice. All right, a bit of a thinner hydrated lather. Let's go with the second pass across the grain. All right, very smooth. In terms of smoothness, I would say it's almost as smooth as the plate C that I used. It just has a bit more uh, blade feel. There's a couple places where uh, it, it seems like it can bite the skin, but so far so good. All right, not bad. Easy on the mustache. Mind you, this is just on a one day of growth, so I gotta be careful, but second pass was smooth. I think I could have used a bit more water, but yeah, very nice. That's a DFS right there. I don't even know to go through a cleanup, uh, but a you know, little blemish down there. Let's go for one cleanup and we'll wrap it up after that. Get all the lather, since I won't be using it. Afterwards, mustache is looking pretty clean. All right, nice. Good bit of peaks there. Let's go against the grain. First two passes were very smooth with, um, I would say, mid mid to high blade feel. Uh, let's see how, how it goes against the grain. Here we go. <clears throat> Definitely a bit more blade feel. But even against the grain, it feels fairly smooth. Huh, interesting. Fairly smooth. Let me just buff a little bit more and just test out.
Okay, not bad. Okay, all right, let's stop there, wrap the shave. All right, so that's a pretty good shave. Um, I did nick myself the, the, the blemish right here, but that's okay. Just did a two pass and a clean up. All right. Oh, a little bit of left on the sides. Ugh. A little bit <laughs> chasing a bit. I usually don't have to cut those parts. Hmm. Here. Uh, can, why can't I get this? <laughs> All right, let me rinse up. All right, it's a pretty efficient shave. Yeah, not a lot of stragglers left. So a little bit on the trouble spots. I think if I buff, buff a little more, I could go towards the BBS, but right now it's a close, uh, pretty comfortable shave. Let me test it out with the Allen block. I am a stick with some fresh water. And the Allen stick here. Here we go. All right, it's a light stain on the chin, and almost nothing on the mustache. I would imagine a little bit more on the neck. A little bit of sting on the blemish there, but very light stain on the neck as well. So even though it's the most efficient plate out of all the carved plates, um, Give me a comfortable shave. Two pass and one clean up. Not quite a BBS, but very close. Close, damn fine shave. And uh, yeah, enjoyed it. So this was my first shave with the carved G plate. Um, very nice, yeah. Just the nick over here on the blemish. Nothing else, close shave. Um, Felt pretty smooth throughout, um, and almost as smooth as the, the C plate, but with a bit more pronounced blade feel. There was a couple spots that it felt like it was gonna bite, but uh, overall, very comfortable shave. And I think I prefer the solid bar G plate over the open comb D plate. So, it's interesting how the, the solid, I'm not sure if it's the combination of the geometry of the plate and the open comb that makes it a bit rougher for my skin but the solid bar G plate felt more comfortable and more, more smooth than the open comb D plate um yeah I'm a, I'm a little confused why um I'm not sure if it's my technique or just something that I changed but I really enjoyed the shave with this G plate I think for comparable razors I would say this is comparable to the Sterling standard plate. Um, the hyper aggressive plate has a lot more blade feel in than the G plate. So uh, I might do a comparison with the Sterling stainless steel standard plate razor. Um, yeah, but this was very enjoyable. This one has, I think, more blade feel than um, my other razors like Game Changer 84, Rockwell Plate 6. Um, yeah, I might do a comparison to the above the tie H1 plate maybe. I have still haven't used that one yet. So 
But anyways, let me wrap up the shape for today. Man, I'm making, I'm taking it long every time. <laughs> it's over 20 minutes already. Sterling, lavender, lemon, lavender, mint. Pleasant when lathered, a little bit more earthy. Notes that I don't enjoy as much, but use the Christmas themed badger brush and shave with the carve solid bar G plate. Excellent shave today. Light sting with the elm stick and just, yeah, nice and close and comfortable shape. So thank you guys for watching. This is Tim Shaves and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.